All right, guys, we're starting off right where we left off with the Amber 350Z, the HR swap. Um, if you remember, I cut the muffler off of it and um, that seemed to make it run a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the, uh, the lack of a muffler and just leave the muffler off and put a tip there. I'm gonna show you what I got going on. So this is the muffler that I cut off, steadily still dumping junk out of it. You can shake it and hear stuff around in there. So I'm assuming that's the issue, or that was the issue with the car. So we gotta get something back here just so we're not like dumping raw exhaust in the back of the car. Now, this is the exhaust tip I made for the uh, rotary FDR-X7 when I had it. Um, so I was thinking about putting this like that so it'd match my, my white Z. This is just a bunch of scrap exhaust stuff. But for some reason I have like this big massive truck tip. So as I was thinking about doing that, you know, something like that. The old JDM hot boy, which this is more my style. But I'd have to like trim the bumper, which I'm probably about to do anyway. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I probably will end up going with a big with the big custom tip whatever just because one it's actually let me get under here just for one if i have it sticking out right there i'll have to make like a short little turn and bend to make this actually work so as you can see this car kind of she's kind of crusty she's got a little bit of rust on her but I don't think the rest of the exhaust is going to be an issue. Um, you can kind of see how far, how far forward I pulled it with the way that, <laughs> that uh, um, exhaust hanger is like, you know, leaning forward. It should be back this way, but it's okay. Um, you can see the factor Y up there too. So if I hang on to the car, I'll get like a three inch Y and this is a three inch exhaust. But that little flange that I cut off, the only reason I cut it off is because it, it I couldn't unbolt it. Um, so I probably like cut that flange off, weld it back here so I can like change the tip if I ever want to, so. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, I guess cut this rear bumper just how I did the white one. Not that I, I mean, I guess I could just do the tuck on this. Uh, decisions, decisions. Um, yeah, I'm unsure yet. <laughs> I may just do the tuck and fold that in and I may cut it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this kind of like mocked up and show you guys what I come up with. So, got this little piece right here. So, thinking if I can cut that flange off junk falling out of this one it might bolt up and i'll have a a tip that i can remove and stuff if i ever want to change it so. all right guys like <laughs> it's always something just like the last video um i got the exhaust done I'm not a big fan of it myself but it's just using scrap i had around the house so um, that's what we got <laughs> not my style but it doesn't sound very bad though so but I'm assuming I have a bad master cylinder so I'm gonna to have to pick up another one, a master cylinder because I cannot get these brakes to bleed um, I've tried with someone helping you know pump the brakes crack the valve um, tried the old school way where you just put a hose on the bleeder crack the bleeder put the other end of the hose into brake fluid pump it and it pushes all the air out but in between like the wind and the rain i'm fucking this thing dude <laughs> telling you what man I swear it's like the more i'm motivated i get to do something the, the more the world is like trying to like stop me from doing it whether it be weather money whatever i swear <laughs> um car's running good still has like these weird little hiccups i think i got some kind of other issue so I don't know, but the engine's running really good. So the engine's good. Still got to figure out the fuel system and the brakes. Uh, I don't know why my uh, the uh, 
standing unit's not working. But yeah, I'm gonna rev her a few times, let you guys hear the exhaust. Don't sound too bad, I like it. But I'm done for the day. Again, the weather's irritating the ever-loving out of me. too bad definitely a little bit louder than i wanted but you know it is what it is um i think it sounds all right but that's it for me guys like i said i'm done with the weather today it's it's absolutely insane and i'm gonna have to order a uh, brake master cylinder um because like i said i've tried to bleed the brakes several times there's definitely something up and that's probably gonna be what it is so all right on the next video we'll get this thing running and driving to where i can do a burnout in it and it's going to be a burnout so you definitely want to stick around for that but all right guys we'll see you on the next one